Consider purchasing a Chrysler minivan, a Dodge Charger, or a Jeep, all of which are propelled by the same modern engine, the Pentastar 3.6. It seems to be perfect on paper, strong, sleek, effective, and sold in the millions. Entering a mechanic's workshop, however, radically alters the plot. Despite its widespread use, this engine has a reputation for being among the most difficult contemporary designs to fix. Then why is the Pentastar 3.6 a favorite among mechanics? We're dissecting every factor contributing to its problematic reputation in this video today. Chrysler's one engine for everything master plan. The Pentastar was intended to be the do-it-all answer when Chrysler debuted in 2010. Chrysler developed a single V6 engine design that could be used in cars, SUVs, trucks, and even minivans rather than producing many different models. The Pentastar seemed to be a breakthrough on paper. A 3.6 gallons, lightweight aluminum structure. Better fuel economy than Chrysler's previous 3.3 and 3.8 pushrod engines. Power ranging from 283 to over 300 horsepower depending on the model. Dual overhead cams with variable valve timing. Millions of Pentastars hit the road and consumers praised the numbers. Repair companies soon discovered, however, that what seemed to be wonderful in theory often became nightmares in reality. Time-eating complexity. The difficulty of maintaining the Pentastar is among the most frequent complaints raised by mechanics. The Chrysler V6 engines of the past were simple. Repairs such as changing spark plugs or water pumps might be completed quickly. On the other hand, the Pentastar's small design, timing chains, and two overhead cams make it difficult to reach components. For instance, replacing a water pump which used to be a simple fix, now involves taking out many parts and sometimes takes hours. Replacing a spark plug is not a simple task. Rather, it requires technicians to battle crowded engine bays and invest a lot more time. Customers will pay more for labor because of this intricacy, and mechanics will be frustrated because they don't want to spend hours on tasks that should be straightforward. Failures of Cylinder Heads 2011-2013 to Cylinder Head Failures particularly around cylinder number two on the left bank, were a major defect in early Pentastar models. The problems manifested as unpredictable check engine lights, engine ticking sounds, rough idling and misfires. By 2012, the issue had grown so much that Chrysler increased the warranty period for impacted cars to 10 years or 150,000 miles. This was an absolute nightmare for mechanics. One of the most labor-intensive engine maintenance tasks is replacing the cylinder head. While consumers became irate about costly repairs, shops spent endless hours disassembling engines. Even though Chrysler fixed the problem in 2013, the engine's reputation had already suffered, particularly in repair shops. The oil filter housing mishap. The plastic oil filter housing on the Pentastar is one component that mechanics detest the most. This is the reason. It is situated underneath the intake manifold deep in the engine's V, is prone to cracking and leaking, and needs a removal of several parts or replacement, which lengthens and increases the cost of the repair. A simple adjustment often becomes a half-day task. Mechanics soon became weary of having to explain to clients why fixing a little oil leak costs so much. By the time aftermarket metal housings were made available, the Pentastar's plastic design had solidified its status as one of its most annoying features. Issues with timing chain tensioners. Instead of belts, which are meant to last the engine's lifetime, the Pentastar employs timing chains. However, tensioner failures that result in the chain rattling or skipping have been encountered by several mechanics. Misfire code due to improper timing, rattling sounds at starting, and in extreme situations, chain skipping that kill the engine are some of the symptoms. Timing chain system repair is not easy. It takes hours of work, specialized equipment, and accuracy. Repairing a Pentastar chain problem is a task that technicians dread, in contrast to previous engines when timing belt replacement was simple. Vulnerable cooling mechanism. The cooling system is another cause of annoyance. Common weak places include concealed coolant channels, flimsy radiator fittings, and plastic thermostat housings. Overheating in the Pentastar may be rapidly caused by a little leak. Additionally, the aluminum architecture of the Pentastar does not allow for overheating, in contrast to older cast iron engines that could withstand some heat. Major engine damage, blown gaskets, and twisted heads may result from even a short incident. 
Seeing a little cooling problem turn into a huge repair expense is upsetting for technicians. Designed for dealerships, not for individuals. The Pentastar was designed with dealerships in mind, according to independent technicians. Why? Certain tasks demand specialized tools. Jeeps and minivans cramped engine rooms make even basic maintenance pain. Some solutions need dealer-level equipment due to software connections. Independent stores may refuse Pentastar job completely or demand exorbitant labor costs to justify the work. This has increased the animosity of technicians who believe Chrysler built the engine to maintain employment at dealerships rather than neighborhood garages. The disparity between mechanics and owners. The intriguing element is that a lot of owners like the Pentastar. With this engine, millions of Jeeps, Chargers, and Chrysler 300s have driven 150,000 miles without experiencing any significant problems. The engine's high performance, good fuel efficiency, and smoothness are praised by owners. But only the failures are visible to mechanics. They handle timing chain repairs, faulty heads, hot cases, and oil leaks. This distinction clarifies the gap. Technicians perceive headaches, but drivers perceive dependability. Progress over time. Later iterations of the Pentastar, to Chrysler's credit, fix a few issues. After 2013, cylinder head defects were fixed. More robust housing for oil filters were made available. Parts of the cooling system were strengthened. Direct injection, stop-start systems, and improved cooling were among the improvements made by the second-generation Pentastars, which debuted in 2016. But for a lot of mechanics, initial impressions are permanent. The Pentastar's early years were memorable, in the worst sense of the word, due to frequent head changes, oil leaks, and cooling problems. The main reasons mechanics detest it. In conclusion, the Pentastar 3.6 is disliked by mechanics for the following reasons. 1. Its excessively complicated design prolongs basic repairs. 2. Early cylinder head malfunctions that damage the company's image. 3. The intake is buried beneath a flimsy plastic oil filter housing. 4. Timing chain tension problems that result in significant work. 5. Weak cooling system parts that lead to major malfunctions. 6. The impression that it was designed with dealerships, not independents, in mind. Despite being dependable for many drivers, this combination makes the Pentastar one of the most difficult engines for shops to fix. Conclusion Powering millions of Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram automobiles, the Pentastar 3.6 isn't the worst engine ever made. In fact, it's one of the most commercially successful modern v 6 For years, many owners drive them without experiencing any significant issues. However, from the perspective of the mechanic, it stands for intricacy, brittle parts, and many repair difficulties. Because of this, the Pentastar 3.6 is an engine that mechanics have grown to dislike, even if it was successful on paper. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe for more.